for tonight's Route 66 Showdown feature event. Starting on row one, he gained the most, won the first heat race. <laughs> Out of Caney, Kansas, he's in a Longhorn chassis, half field power under the hood of McGee Racing. Number 10, Jacob McGee to his outside. Out of Oakwood, Illinois, he's in a Pierce chassis. Jay Dickens power under the Champion Sparks Plus All Guy Incorporated. Number 32, it's Bobby Pierce. On row number two out of Billings, Missouri, he's in a rocket chassis. Scott Bailey power under the hood of the Malvern Bank Z double zero. It's Jesse Stovall. Outside row number two out of Springfield, Missouri, he's in a black diamond chassis. Durham power under the hood of the Andes Frozen Custard number 75, Terry Phillips. Row number three out of Las Cruces, New Mexico, he's in a black diamond chassis. Durham power under the hood of the Children's Fishing and Reynolds F5. It's Garrett Albertson. To his outside, out of Aurora, Missouri, he's in a TNT chassis. Marty's machine power under the hood of the Midwest Sheet Metal. Number 98, it's Justin Wells. On row number four, out of Batesville, Arkansas, he's in a Moyer Victory chassis. Carl Performance under the hood of the Henderson Motorsports. Number 21, Billy Moyer. Outside row number four, out of Happy, Texas, he's in an MB Custom. Clement Power under the hood of the camera and transport. Number 20, Rodney Sanders. Row number five, out of Lebanon, Missouri, now you're a four-time Mars champion. He's in a rocket chassis. Cornet Power under the hood of the Odell Trucking. Number 56, Tony Jackson, Jr. To his outside, out of Republic, Missouri, he's in a rocket chassis. Sponsored by Republic Glass. Number 14, Brad Looney. Row number six out of Crane, Missouri. He's in a rocket chassis. Clements Power under the hood of the Circle M model sales. Number one, it's Will Vaught to his outside out of Republic, Missouri, the 2016 Mars Rookie of the Year. He's in a Club 29 Cornet Power under the hood of the Atnip Enterprises. Number 15, Peyton Looney. Row number seven. Out of Batesville, Arkansas, starting on the inside. He's in a black diamond chassis. Clements Power under the hood of the AAA Diesel Service. Number six, Wendell Wallace. To his outside, out of Wheatland, Oklahoma. He's in an MB Custom. Clements Power under the hood of the Drive WFX.com. Number five, Randy Timms. Row number eight, out of Greenbrier, Arkansas. He's in a rocket chassis with Clements Power under the hood of the AAA Diesel. Number 18, Jack Sullivan. And to his outside out of Aurora, Missouri, he's in a Barry Wright chassis. Marty's machine power under the hood of the Mooneyham Auto Sales. Number 20, it's Dustin Mooneyham. Row number nine on the inside out of West Plains, Missouri. He's in a rocket chassis. Pro power under the hood of the Mr. Dent Collision. Number 36, it's Logan Martin. And to his outside, out of Tucson, Arizona, he's in a Club 29. Cornet powered under the hood of the Red Eye Radiator. No, number zero, it's Jake O'Neill. Row number 10 on the inside, out of Magnolia, Texas. He's in a rocket chassis. Clement Power under the hood of the first class septic. Number 91, Tyler Herb. To his outside, out of Truman, Arkansas, he's in a black diamond by Phillips. Kuntz Power under the hood of the Gary Beard Trucking. Number 86, it's Kyle Beard. Row number 11 out of Lake Elmo, Minnesota. He's in a black diamond chassis with Pro Power under the hood of the Arnie Rana Motorsports B1, Brent Larson. And to his outside, out of Bentonville, Arkansas, he's in a GRT Yeoman Power under the hood of the Homes by Roth. Number 14, it's Jeff Roth. And your final row, starting on the inside out of St. Genevieve, Missouri. He's in a rocket chassis with Mullins Power under the hood of the Whitetail Properties. Number zero, it's Dwayne Kiefer. And your last entrant into tonight's main event out of Alton, Missouri. He's in a Longhorn chassis with Patriot Power under the hood of the Royal Oak Charcoal. Number 12, Scott Krigler. As a firework goes off in the sky, pick out your favorite car, favorite drivers. They come out of turn number four. It's race time here at the Springfield Race. We have the showdown on Route 66. Jake McGee and Bobby Pierce go side by side down the back straightaway. Bobby Pierce will jump out to that early lead, leading the opening lap here tonight. Off of turn number four, it'll be the 32 of Pierce. McGee in second, Stovall third, Phillips runs it fourth, and Garrett Alberson rounds out your top five runners early in this one. Bobby Pierce showing the way. Jacob McGee and Jesse Stovall having a great battle for that second spot. Give it to Stovall as McGee backs up to third. Terry Phillips in his two-year absence from the Springfield Raceway running in fourth. Garrett Albertson in fifth. As a caution flag comes out, Logan Martin spins it in turn two, and he'll bring out the race's first caution. Logan Martin 
Not finding any love in turn number two and brings a stop to the action. Pratt looks him over. And the green flag's back in the air. We're underway here at Springfield Raceway. And Bobby Pierce straight to the top, able to make the momentum work down the back straightaway. Stovall will take over that second spot as McGee will back up to third out of turn four, and it's all Bobby Pierce, Stovall, McGee, Alberson, and Phillips. Phillips going to stay on the hub of the racetrack as he'll race with the F5 of Garrett Alberson, and here comes the 21 of Billy Moyer. Moyer knocking on a top five run as they come out of turn number four. So it'll be Pierce out front, Stovall second, Jacob McGee third. Best race there for fourth between the 75 of Phillips, the F5 of Alberson. Moyer right behind them as well there in the 21. Completing your front six race cars. Jackson runs it seventh, bought eighth. Ninth is Justin Wells and your 10th place car, the 20 of Rodney Sanders, bought and Wells. Now roll off turn number two, side by side for a moment. Will will take the spot. Pierce, your leader at the line. Great racing throughout the pack, but especially fourth on back. Phillips under the gun now from the 21 of Billy Moyer. Great side-by-side -side battle as they go out of turn number two down the back straightaway. Once again, that is a battle for fifth. Fourth and fifth up for Bab grabs as it's Phillips has it. 21 of Billy Moyer wants it. Tony Jackson Jr. going to stick his nose underneath the 21 of Moyer as they go down the back straightaway into three and four. Will Vaught coming on as well as the 32 of Bobby Pierce starts the inner lap traffic. In front of the leader, the 14 of Jeff Roth, then the 36 of Logan Martin, as your leader comes out of four. Bobby Pierce continues to pick up that Midwest sheet metal lap money here tonight. And this one, it'll work off the top side of turn number two. Stovall right there as well. Stovall getting him a little piece of the pie. 66 per lap you lead, $44 for every lap that you run second, and $110 paid out per lap here tonight. So another 110 of the books that time by Pierce and Stovall run one, two. Boy, those two. Went at it hot and heavy last night at Wheatland, and it was Bobby Pierce two laps shy of the checkers. Rolling to the low side of Stovall's. He jumped the bank over in turn number two. We'll see how she plays out tonight. The caution will wave. The yellow is out at the top of turn number two for the zero of Tucson, Arizona's Jake O'Neill. And if he didn't have bad luck this weekend, he would have no luck whatsoever. His way back to the racetrack off turn number three. He will join the back of the field. Don't have any, any lap cars just yet. Bobby Pierce out front. So McGee will go back to second. Billy Moyer shown in third. Terry Phillips in fourth. And that'll put Will Vaught in the top five. As lights are off, here we go. Restart here for Bobby Pierce on the Delaware double file restart. He'll pull the trigger out of four, and we're back racing. Bobby Pierce now down the back straightaway. Billy Moyer taking over that second spot as Jacob McGee works underneath him. Currently running in third, but now getting pressure from the one of Will Vaught. Will Vaught will try to split him and Moyer as they go through one and two. It's Pierce, Moyer. Now Vaught and McGee as Tony Jackson Jr. now in the fit top five. And Terry Phillips backs up. Currently now shown in eighth, I believe. Terry Phillips backing up on that restart, but Bobby Pierce starting to pull away. Pierce out of turn number four, your leader. Savant so now the second spot. He and Moyer go side by side, battling for that rotor up position. And that valuable $44 lap money for Every lap you could complete in second place. The double zero of Stovall off the racetrack over in turns one and two. So the night's gone from bad to worse for the double zero of Stovall, but he's sticking with it here. Running at the tail of the field. Pierce out front, Vaught second, Moyer third, McGee fourth, and the 18 of Jack Sullivan rounds out the top five. Jesse Stovall almost off-roaded it off turn two on the when he went off the cushion there, brings it back on in front of the leaders, but it's Bobby Pierce out front. A great battle for second between Vaught and Moyer. Jacob McGee trying to hold on to a top five, now being stalked by the 18 of Jack Sullivan. Sullivan, your recently crowned comp series champion, currently running in fifth. 
as Bobby Pierce makes it look easy here at the quick quarter mile. Bobby, B Billy Moyer in second. Will Vaught now comfortably in third. Jacob McGee and Jack Sullivan round out the top five. Still great racing throughout the field. There's Brad Looney all over the back end of Garrett Alberson. And, of course, Rodney Sanders. Can't say enough about Rodney Sanders. Sanders trying to get into the top five as well. But action out front as Bobby Pierce starts working on lap traffic. So we'll see how Pierce decides to navigate. It'll be the 14 of Jeff Roth, the first on the hit list for the 32. Pierce will go right back up to the top side. And he'll have to start dispatching lap traffic. Action comes a little quicker here at the Springfield Raceway than a lot of places across the country. Pierce will look to the outside of Roth in the 14. Nothing doing that time. Moyer still second, bought third. Bobby Pierce trying to set up the 14 of Jeff Roth and work his way in and out of lap traffic. Pierce now to the bottom through three and four that time by. So Bobby Pierce, your race long leader, he'll slide in front of the 14. Now a lap car between the 32 and the 21 of Moyer with the one of Will Vaught in third. Twenty-two laps in, twenty-eight to go as Bobby Pierce making it look easy here at Springfield Raceway. Seventy-five of Terry Phillips slow as he comes off turn number two. Seventy-five of Phillips on the back straightaway. Will make it to the pit area. Not sure what's wrong with Phillips, but he is done. Looks like he's going to go straight to the trailer as action continues up front. Bobby Pierce now just in front of the 21 of Billy Moyer. Moyer not letting Pierce get too far away from him. Heavy lap traffic running three wide in front of the leaders. As Dwayne Kiefer gets a little nose from Bobby Pierce, 21 of Moyer and the one of Will Vaught right there with Bobby Pierce. Pick your line carefully because as they work through lap traffic, well, just one car holding them up may cause them to lead. Down, down into one and two. It's Pierce, Moyer, and Vaught. Moyer now trying to inch ahead of Pierce. As they go down into three and four. Pierce with the preferred line as he'll try to make the pass. Put Jesse Stovall a lap down. It's Pierce, Moyer, and Vaught. Vaught going to go inside of Moyer. Vaught trying to steal away second. Side by side in the battle for second. And Pierce is going to love that as he's able to try to break away. But now they're three wide coming out of turn number four. And it'll be too close to call. Pierce still has the lap. But it was just by inches. As Will Vaught now has the race lead, Will Vaught out front, Bobby Pierce and Billy Moyer side by side for second. So it'll be Will Vaught now. He'll go to work the double zero of Jesse Stovall in an odd spot, being a lap car. So Will Vaught out front, Pierce second, Moyer third. In that one, Stovall and Logan Martin dead ahead of the one via Vaught. Pierce now to back to the inside. Here comes Bobby Pierce. Pierce digging back right on the low side. Lap traffic squarely in front of Vaught. Pierce and Moyer. It's three cars for the lead here at Springfield. The showdown on Route 66. Vaught still has it at the line that time. Pierce second, Moyer third. It's a dead heat now for the top spot. Down the middle of the back straightaway to three and four. Martin and Stovall dead ahead of Vaught in the one. The 32 of Bobby Pierce in that second spot. Vaught will get into the right rear quarter panel, the 36 of Martin there a little bit, and go to the outside that time by. So Will Vaught, Pierce Moyer still right there, second and third. Battle between the 32 and the 21. Action moving back down slowly to the bottom of the Springfield Raceway in turns one and two. What well, can't say enough about Will Vaught. Will Vaught starting to put some distance between him and Moyer and Pierce. Vaught. Always strong here at Springfield Raceway, trying to get it done here in the Route 66 showdown. As this time by, I believe, will be lap 35 for Will Vaught. 35 laps in, 15 to go for Will Vaught. Will Vaught out front, Billy Moyer second, Bobby Pierce in third, Jack Sullivan fourth, and the 10 of Jacob McGee in fifth. But great racing here at the quick quarter mile. Vaught, Pierce, and Moyer putting on a show up front. As Vaught now starting to pull away a half a straightaway lead over Moyer. And Will Vaught looks like he has it on cruise control. Man, what a powerhouse move there. A few laps back for Will Vaught to wrestle the lead away 
from Bobby Pierce who slipped back to third. Vaught now will have the B1 of Brett Larson directly in front of him here as the racetrack cleaning up a little bit late in the going in this one. Slated run 50 here for the showdown on Route 66. Lap 44 coming up, a big bonus. $244 for the leader here at lap 44. So it's Vaught, Moyer, and Pierce still your top three. Stovall continuing to stay on the racetrack after the one of Will Vaught put him down a lap. So Stovall a lap car between the one of Vaught, the 21 of Moyer, then the 36 of Martin a lap down. Martin between the 21 of Moyer and the 32 of Bobby Pierce. The track's starting to lock down as the car's running along the hub of the racetrack. Good news for Will Vaught. Will Vaught just needs to keep it up front as he's got the back marker of Jesse Stovall between him and Moyer. Moyer's got to do some great racing here to try to keep up and get around the double zero of Stovall. But right now, currently shown in second, it's Will Vaught out front. Vaught trying to bring in the win here at Springfield Raceway. Thirty-six of Logan Martin goes to the infield. He's done. Right in front of your leader is the B1 of Brent Larson. And like I said, the car is racing along the hub of the speedway right now. It is Will Vaught, your leader, Bill Moyer in second, Bobby Pierce third, Jack Sullivan fourth, Jacob McGee in fifth. Garrett Alberson shown in sixth, Brad Looney seventh, Tyler Erb in eighth, Wendell Wallace ninth, and Randy Timms in the five car rounds out the top ten. As we're trying to get a battle for position here is Garrett Alberson makes his way underneath the zero of Dwayne Kiefer. Brad Looney able to follow through, but out front it is still Will Vaught. Will Vaught holding on here as he is just four laps away. We've got 46 laps in, four to go for your leader, Will Vaught. And you know Will Vaught's got to be excited as there's only two laps to go. Two laps to go for Will Vaught as Jesse Stovall has succumbed to Moyer and Pierce. So right behind Vaught is Moyer and Pierce as the white flag comes out one more time around for Will Vaught. Vaught just a couple car lengths ahead of the 21 of Billy Moyer as the white flag's in the air. Here he comes for the final time out of turn number four. Your winner will we Will Vaught. Continues for Will Vaught, his first time in late model victory lane here at the Springfield Race. We'll get him out of the race car here in a minute and hear from him after his big night. 6,600 to win plus a slew of lap money, including that $244 bonus on lap 44. Here he is out of the race car, fans. Let's hear it. Winner of the biggest race in the history of Springfield Raceway, Will Vaught. Will Vaught, right here in Victory Lane. You, uh, you hadn't won at Wheatland until September. You hadn't won a late model race here at Springfield until tonight. Tell us about uh, wh what you're thinking now. <laughs> what a better night to do it. Billy Moyer and Bobby Pierce is here. They're the ones that hyped up this event, and, and somebody underdog beat them. So uh, we can't we can't beat that. I mean, I know all of you guys come watch a good race with them too, but uh, the local boy beat them tonight. Man. It's about how you set up the 32 and the 21 to get around them. You guys were all three kind of slicing and dicing right there for a period of time, but uh, what did you see that uh, made you think you'd get around them there and get it uh, get it done? When we caught lap cars there, the track was really getting one lane, and I'm like, ah, I was trying to keep my tires underneath me, and I'm sure it's wore out, but uh, trying to keep my tires underneath me and, and, and not spin the tires, and uh, when I got to the, when we got to the lap cars, I said, I got to go. You know, it's, I knew I had a good race car. 
I had the bottom working there early and, and passed quite a few cars. And Eric's saying, stay on the bottom, stay on the bottom. And and, uh, and on that restart, I got pushed on the outside. And I got past cars on the outside, too. So, uh, anyway, I just had a phenomenal race car. I mean, I can't thank Wright Oil Company enough. Uh, to, you know, helping helping us, but some reason we're here. It's just uh, it's all sponsors. Uh, GW Performance, uh, Integra Shocks. Uh, big thanks to Eric. Good Lord above. I mean, it's uh, it takes a lot of luck. It takes a lot of luck to win one of these races. And uh, kid here, my wife, everybody. It just it takes a lot. And you got a ton of lap money tonight too. Chris Davis really stepped up and helped secure a lot of lap money amongst 19 local businesses. You got the $244 bonus for lap 44, and that was your fastest lap of the the entire feature, too. So, man, there's just kind of a lot of things meant to be there for you tonight. It was. It's just, like I said, the good Lord put everything in place for us, and uh, we came out with this one. All right, Will Vaught, your winner down here.